three processes by which the Philippine Revolution is to be advanced. These include the building of the Communist Party of the Philippines, the building of uh, the new People's Army, the, and the building of uh, the National Democratic Front. The Communist Party of the Philippines was established on December 26, 1968 as the Marxist-Leninist vanguard party of the working class. This party is supposed to be the standard bearer of the working class, which is that class that is the most progressive, productive, and political force in the Philippines. It is true that a minority class, especially only the party which represents it, cannot win the, rep the Philippine Revolution all by itself. At any rate, even while there are the forces of armed revolution, there are the legal democratic forces in the Philippines. The biggest of these is Bagong Aliansang Makabay Makabayan, or Bayan in short. It has a membership of more than 2 million members in more than 1,000 member organizations. Its uh, biggest component organizations are Kilusang Mayo Uno, which is the labor center, the Pambansang Kilusang Magbubukid, which is the, or the Kilusang Magbubukid ng Pilipinas, or KMP, Gabriela, the Women's Alliance, League of Filipino Students, Alliance of Concerned Teachers, Cadena, and so on. As I have earlier pointed out, Partido ng Bayan, founded last uh, August 30 and 31, was an outgrowth of Bayan, the big coalition. Stop! Stop! Sabi ko na stop!